Hello and welcome to this week's Index Trading Weekly Video Review from Magnetic Trading. My name is Cameron Malik. Through the video we're going to be going through the trades that we took last week on our advisor program. We're also going to be giving you access to an exclusive webinar we did earlier in the week where you're going to find out how you can profit from trading the end of quarter on the ASX, the FTSE and the Dow. So I'll give you a little hint. We did that last week and every single one of those trades won. Also going to be giving you some analysis of what we're expecting to happen in the markets in the FTSE this coming week and in the DAX. So let's have a look now how we got on last week. We had two winning FTSE trades and we had a winning trade on the ASX, which was that end of quarter trade, which we'll be showing you later in the video. So an overall return of 1.14% for the week, and we had a return of 3.17% for the month of September. Now we've said it before, Mark and I typically risk half to 1% a trade. We recommend with advisor you can risk 1% to 2%. So if you were risking 2% a trade, of course, returns will be doubled. Okay, let's go over now to the webinar that we did earlier in the week where we taught uh, our clients how to trade the end of quarter, what we did on the ASX, and how to profit from that on the Dow Jones. You certainly want to grab a pen to take some notes so you can take advantage of that at the end of the quarter this time. I put it on the line this week. We said um, we had this trade sitting up. Um, it's one of those trades we can plan our lives around. In fact, many of our clients that we have in our portfolio of clients, we can plan and we give our clients a lot of advance warning as to when these are happening. And uh, we certainly mentioned to our clients this week that in the last 1.5 hours of action on the ASX today, be aware that we will probably be sending out an alert to trade this particular market. So I'm going to hand you over to Cameron now and he's going to tell you how we got on. Okay, thanks Mark. So first of all, we need to look at the principles of this trade. So we trade something which is called market function, uh, which not a lot of traders use, that the market will perform in certain ways uh, at certain times, either at the open uh, or at the, in this case, at the end of the quarter. So at the end of the quarter, we are looking to sell the market, and this market being uh, the local market in Australia, the ASX, in the last 90 minutes. So that's the key important point. If you are more of an advanced trader, we have our traders through our ProTrader program who also do look to sell throughout the day and perhaps take multiple trades. But for our advisor service, uh, we look to sell in the last 90 minutes. And the reason for this is that fund managers are looking to get rid of poor performing stocks. So they want to clear their books of those stocks. And they also want to potentially take profits from stocks that have been performing well. And this creates a bit of downward pressure in the market. We see this happen time and time again. Now, the way in which we trade this could be, could be different. Um, we can see on the last trend day of the month, actually the market squeeze a lot higher, take out all of the stops, and then reverse and sell in that last 90 minutes. Today wasn't that case. Actually, uh, the market moved down, which we'll, we'll see in a minute, and we wanted to sell and wait for almost the lows to be taken out of the market, and we would get into the trade. We actually sold today at the level of uh, 58.36, and we, we placed a stop of 27 points, and we looked to target uh, down to the 5.800 levels. So in terms of risk management, uh, we're always really looking to take half profits to pay for a stop. So what does that mean? It means that once we're into 27 points of profit, so if our risk in this example is 27 points, we've got a stop loss which is 27 points away from the entry, we'll look to take half profits to pay for that stop and then run the trade on from there. This prevents us 
from uh, taking losses and really trading is all about risk management. We say this time and time again, winning trades are actually really, really easy. There's not a lot of effort that goes into a trade that goes straight to target. There is effort in trades that are not going in your favor for some time and dealing with the risk of that trade and mitigating risk in trading. So that's what we try to do, we try to get half profit. So I'll pay for the stock and then run the trade. So let's have a look at uh, the trade that we took today and that we gave to our clients uh, via our Magnetic Trading Advisor app. With the app, we really give simple and easy to understand instructions of exactly where to get in the trade, where to place your stock, and where we are looking to take profit. So you can see up here on the left-hand side of the screen, we placed an alert today. Um, actually, at 12.48 our time, actually, we're, we're in Asia. That uh, related to 3.48 Sydney time. So about 12 minutes before the market closed, we wanted to sell that level at 58.36, so you can see that on the chart here. Just, uh, you can see my cursor. You can see the market just bouncing along. You can see that the market sold off quite heavily, actually, uh, earlier in the day, moved up to the 5,900 levels, came all the way down to the 58.30 levels, and then really stalled in this area. So we wanted to take advantage of, if the market came and broke down, through this retracement, we had a, a move up, and actually this is almost an engulfing candle. This is a five minute chart, by the way. Um, and almost engulfs here, and a break down here would mean, or for us, potentially, that the market will drop further as the selling pressure comes into the closing 12 to 20 minutes of the market. So we placed our stop at this line here, uh, above this swing high, that we felt that if the market had come back up to these levels, really the market had based and all of the selling had already been done. So a little bit more of a tricky trade for us today. It's very, very difficult to sell the market right at the lows when you've already seen the selling coming in. But with this trade, we often see that there is a lot of selling pressure that comes in right at the close. So our traders got in here just before the close. So we've issued this. It was actually I think just 10 minutes before the close, two minutes after the alert there. But we had got into the trade. And as we move through, we manage the trade for our clients. So we take uh, all of the heavy lifting we do. They just need to watch. Uh, for the alerts to come through. The stop was originally 58.63. We, we reduced that as the market closed at 4 p.m. Sydney time. So the market closes, it moves into what is an auction period. The auction period is where all the buys and all the sell trades are, are settled to give the final closing price in the market. So the closing is quite an important point, actually, if you're a trader, Often people think that the price on the on your broker platform or the Go Markets platform perhaps is the closing price of the cash market. It's not. Um, it will be decided uh, when all of the orders are tallied up, if you will, um, for a 12-minute period. That period can vary between different markets. It's five minutes in the FTSE. It's 12 minutes uh, in the ASX. So we want to hold that trade, knowing that the potentially will be a spillover of sell orders moving into the auction period and that downward pressure will continue. So we wanted to pull the stop down just in case um, that downward pressure didn't continue to, to 58.42, which really settled uh, our risk only being um, just six points. So six points of risk, we took on 27 points of risk We've reduced that to only six points. And then we were going to target uh, 58.12. That was our target. And as we progressed, another couple of min minutes later, 
we reduced our risk completely. So you can see what I was talking about earlier, how we're always looking to mitigate risk. We're always trying to get risk taken off the table, and that really, really helps us in the longer term. So we put our stop loss to entry uh, at three minutes after the, the close, three minutes into the auction period, and then we exited at 58.14. You can see we got down to those 12 levels. We didn't want to risk the market uh, pushing back up. Plus, we were getting just to the end of the auction period. So a nice win there, all really taking just over 20 minutes. Um, so our clients put a little bit of time aside at the end of the quarter, and then they can trade this trade along with us. Also, since we've been trading this trade publicly, it has not taken a loss. So we've never taken a loss on this trade. Of course, it will potentially lose at some point. There's no 100% strategy in the market. Anyone that says there is, is, is a little bit delusional. But this is a very, very high probability trade based on real reasons why the market is going to do this. And that is what we call market function, which we add uh, into our trading. So just a little snippet of uh, how the cl clients did on this trade. We have a number of uh, hundreds of clients actually trading on this trade. So they all piggy back on this. We asked them how, how they did. And you can see all the comments coming in here that they, they got on well with the trade. Um, here are pro traders, Bob making 6% on the trade as well. And some Pete making 36 points. And uh, our other Pete pro trader getting 85 points on the day. And this is where I was mentioning that our more advanced traders are trading the trade through the day on sell offs that are coming into the market for the last trading day of the quarter. As we mentioned at the head of the presentation, we are potentially going to have a look at uh, the FTSE. Mark being the expert on the FTSE market, we're going to go over to Mark now. He's also going to teach you how you can trade on the Dow Jones uh, for the end of the quarter and take advantage of that downward pressure that comes into the market. All right, cheers for that, Cameron. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll just talk you through the Dow, and then we can actually go live to the FTSE charts, and I'll. I'll tell you what we're thinking of later on for the FTSE. Um, so this particular trade in the Dow is systematic. Um, the timing I put is UK time. So um, wherever you are in the world, we do have clients uh, in this webinar from all over the world, but I've just put 8.55 p.m. UK time. So um, wherever you are in the world, you just need to um, Google what time that is. Uh, in relation to you. I think if it, in Australia, I think it's pretty early in the morning, like maybe 6, 6.55 or something. Um, so just before your uh, first mug of coffee, maybe. Uh, but it's a nice one. It's a quick one. Uh, what we're saying is that if price moves 7.5% ATR downwards from whatever the price is five minutes before the Dow shuts, so the Dow or the Wall Street, you might have heard of it called, it closes at 9 p.m. UK time. So we want this trade to be executed five minutes before the Dow or the Wall Street closes. So the first thing you do is you write, you look at your charts at 8.55, you write down what is the price five minutes before it closes, then you work out what is 7.5% ATR. I'll do that for you today. It's 38 points. Okay. So if price moves down 38 points, you can then sell the Dow Jones. Okay. You can sell the Dow Jones and you want to be looking uh, for around 80, 80 points. Okay. Uh, looking for around 80 points of profit on this particular trade. Um, as always, as Cameron just talked about, if you can make it risk-free, uh, as soon as you pay for your stop, then uh, then do so, and you know, you know, you can watch the one minute as as the uh, as the price action moves down. 
You want to close the trade out uh, just before uh, 9.05 p.m. again, UK time. So 10 minutes after you've actually worked out what the price is at 8.55, you must close the trade. It doesn't matter if it hasn't uh, hit the target. That's because the the futures market is closing and you don't want to be locked into, into that trade. So um, you want to be closing just before uh, 9.05 p.m. UK time. So 10 minutes after um, you've been looking to sell this. Stop's going to be 38 points above the 8.55 opening price. Okay, whatever that is, whatever the price is at 8.55, we don't know yet because we're not there yet, but uh, you want your stop to be 38 points above that, that price. That means that if price moves up 38 points, um, from that particular 8.55 p.m. price, you must exit. Okay, so that's that's where you put your stop. And remember, you're getting in, you're only triggered into a sell. Don't sell at 8.55. You only sell if it moves 38 points downwards first. The reason for that is you can see, we call it in trading, fake out moves. That's when the market might just start moving down get some early sellers in, then reverse and shoot on up higher. This particular system allows for that to happen. It allows us to be safe just in case um, there is a fake out move. And again, it doesn't have to sell off. You know, I, I've seen many a time on the Dow Jones that it can rally as well. So, uh, so don't just sell outside of this thinking the market's going to collapse. It, it can put in some almighty rallies into the close as well. Um, for the end of quarter, um, and also as we know, uh, the you know the American markets uh, at the moment are far more bullish than uh, its European counterparts, and and also the uh, the the, the SX, your Australian market. So maybe take a screenshot of that on your phone, um, and remember, seven point five percent ATR today is thirty eight points. Okay, so let's go over to the FTSE chart. Let's have a look at that one. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. The, the, the FTSE one's a little bit more complicated. Um, and uh, I won't be using that systematically. It'll be, because we know these markets are a lot better. We, we uh, will trade them a little bit more technically. So for me, uh, today FTSE is it's actually okay above uh, 58.60. So above 58.60 today on FTSE, um, I think this can move higher. But if we start breaking below 58.60 in the last um, hour, then I think we're heading uh, we're heading down to uh, 5800. I mean that would certainly put some um, heavy selling pressure into the FTSE in the last hour if we're if we're starting to break below 58.60. So that's a pretty pretty important level. Um, in the last hour on the FTSE, if we start moving below there or we're already below there, we might well see um, some heavy selling coming in. If we're above there, then I really want to see some sort of rally uh, to sell into, and that would probably be in the last 10 minutes of action. So if we're above 58.60, I want to see the FTSE really push on up, um, and then in the last 10 minutes or so, I'll be... Uh, I'll be looking to sell it, ideally maybe above the day's highs. So, um, you know, if it can take out sort of 50, 59.40, um, you know, I might then look for a bit of a sell. But that's where I'm looking at, guys. It's all about 58.60 today. Uh, I think also that if we close the day above 58.60 tomorrow, we'll probably see a, a nice big buy-in come in the FTSE. And that, uh, I'm looking for the FTSE back up at 6,000 as long as we don't start getting end of day closes below 5860. Um, so that's that's kind of the lining in the sand at the moment for the FTSE is that 5860. So we'll just see how we close today. But um, again, tomorrow we've got another market function trade called the first. Uh, it's the first trend day of a new month. We're expecting pension money to come in at a certain point into the market. Uh, and we'll be looking uh, to buy the. Um, to buy the FTSE and the DAX. And also, the last quarter can be a bullish quarter as well. Uh, people start 
uh, taking out quite a few options, expecting that um, the market will end higher. We'll get that Christmas rally towards the end of the year and the market will be higher than where we are. For me, I think, again, I'm only thinking it's, my, it's just uh, my view, but um, I would see us higher than where we are now. I would see us more around 6,200 plus for the FTSE by the end of the year. So uh, we'll, certainly, we'll certainly be looking for reasons to buy over the coming weeks uh, and months uh, into the end of the new quarter and then that will be closed off in December. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed learning how to trade and profit from the end of quarter trade, not only seeing our trade, but seeing how our clients are getting on also. Now, the analysis for this coming week. Now, with the FTSE, 5800 is going to be key and it is bearish in the market while we're below that level. If we can gain above 5800, we see the market moving to 6050 levels. Long term, though, we are bullish above 5550 in the market. Now, the DAX last week has been quite neutral. The key level for us is 12850. If we can get above there, the DAX does turn positive, and I'm expecting moves to the 13,200 levels. However, if we remain between 12,850 and 12,500, I think we've got a sideways market that will just be moving sideways and potentially consolidating. Okay, guys, take advantage of the analysis. If you're not already in the advisor program, please do join us and start profiting from the trades that we issue every single week.